Hey y'all, out here at SEMA 2013 and uh, one of the subscribers I've got got in touch with me because he was going to have some cars out here and uh, wanted me to take a look at him. Cool cars. He's got this uh, 57 Chevy Cameo that I'm getting ready to shoot now and he's got a 69 Camaro that's real nice too that I hope to get to shoot. So anyways, let me uh, run Chris down. I'll have him tell us a little bit about this truck. Chris, how are you brother? Good. And yourself, Scotty? Not too bad. I'm in SEMA. I'm yeah. in Vegas. Cool cars everywhere. It's great, isn't it? It is. Tell me a little bit about this truck. Okay, well, it's a 1957 Cameo that the customer bought back in the 80s. Uh, it was a wreck. He pushed it home. Um, his father owned a dealership in Nebraska, and he remembers the billboard of a 1957 Cameo. So he's always wanted to have a Cameo. Found it in the 80s. Uh, it was a wreck. And really, it just sat in his garage for years. Um, and then about two and a half years ago, I ran, met him, and we just started discussing the truck and his ideas. Right. And so uh, uh, one thing led to another, and he sent us the truck and said, okay, this is what I want. Uh, his, his original thing is, is that he, he wanted it to look like a 57 Cameo on the outside. We didn't change a thing on the outside other than maybe a few subtle things, but for the most part, it's the same as a 57 that you would have seen in 57. Even with this accent paint and all that? The paint colors, white and red, yes. But we upgraded the color to Corvette colors of the 60s. So this is ermine white from 1960 era Corvettes and victory red from Corvettes as well. Who did your interior? Uh, Corona Concepts out of Corona, um, California. Um, I told him what I wanted, uh, and uh, he did me some uh, sketches, and then we'll, away we went. Man, that's beautiful. You did all the work yourself, your shop? My shop, CW Restoration Shop, did all the work. Um, we, we do everything in-house except for interior. So I have a custom heated downdraft booth. We did all the paint. BSF is a sponsor of ours, so this is RM Uno. It's a single stage paint. Right. And BSF. Um, CPP um, supplied the the brakes and brake system for it. Uh, Griffin Radiator made us a, a radiator for it. And a big shout out to Griffin because that's where we're we're in their booth. And we're in their booth. They've right. been really good to us. Man, I like that. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? No. That is fancy. <laughs> now, you know, the cam cameos, they started doing the cameos in 55, and the whole idea was is that General Motors in 53 started the Corvette. Right. And 53 and 54, they only sold about 700 or so Corvettes, so people were afraid of Corvette, uh, fiberglass. Right. So the idea was to start introducing fiberglass in other cars so that people would get an idea that fiberglass is strong, is safe. This thing's got fiberglass on it? It has fiberglass. The, the, the back panels... And the tailgate, the outside of the tailgate, is fiberglass. Holy cow. How long did they make the Cameo? Uh, till 59. Because I've shot a few, but you don't see a ton of them. You, they only made about 2,400 of them each year. Wow. Uh, and I'm not sure on the numbers, but that's about what I think it is. Well, I love that gauge cluster you put in there. Who did that? Now, that's Dakota Digital Gauges. Um, the rest of it is all original to the truck. Uh, Retro Sound makes radio that will fit in the stock location, so we didn't fabricate or do any different changes to the to the dash. But it's Dakota Digital Gauges. Will this door open? Yes. Let me see them door panels. Oh, that looks nice. So the idea behind this is, on the door panel itself, it has these these rolls in there, and I wanted to keep those, but I would try to get away from the tin sound that the door would have had. Right. So I had our I had Corona Concepts make a panel and leave that in there. Man, dude, beautiful job. Thank you. I love Thank it. You. Because like you said, I like how it's all broke up. I like even where you, I don't know if that's the way it was. Yep, that's exactly what it but was. But that that's a great break point, yeah. and it's very cool. And I like how it even rolls out on the outside just a little. Yep. And then the bed too. Yep. The, the color, the way the color is, it would not have been, it's exactly how it would have come from the factory. Really? Um, and like I said, other than we modernized the color, um, it's it's broke down just exactly like it. And like I said, the customer didn't want it any, he wanted it white and red, he didn't want it red and white. Oh, I got you, I got you. This is way, he wanted primary color to be white. Exactly. I got you. How long did it take you to do this build? Well... This build took us about uh, a year and a half, and the only reason why it took that long is it had a lot of rust. Um, the fenders are not original to the truck. The hood is not original, but I went and found 
uh, original parts. They're not aftermarket parts. I got gotcha. you. Um, the, the grill itself, his grill was in bad shape. It took me about three months to find a, an original grill because 57 grills are only one year option. Right. And so, uh, it, it, I, as a matter of fact, when I found it, it was painted teal green. So we had to strip out the paint, send it to the promo and get it re -chromed. The cab itself is not 57. It's actually a 59. His cab, when we got it, was so bad. We could have fixed it, right. you know, but it was just so much work that it was made more sense to go out and hunt a cab down. So it took me a while to find a cab that was in good shape um, and replaced it with a 59. I got you. So this is kind of like a Johnny Cash. Very a little good. bit, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah, little it's got a little Johnny Cash in exactly. it. Exactly. And what is that, a little small block? It's just a crate engine 350. Um, and what we've done with it is we put a comp cam in it, put an Elbrock air gap in there. But the biggest thing we've done is we've used MSD's atomic EFI. So this is a fuel injected motor now. Is that the original chassis you used to? This is original chassis. We just put a um, Mustang 4 coil over in the front, put a 10 bolt in the rear, made a custom 4 link in the rear. Um, we lowered it about six inches. Man, will you do me a big favor? Shut the hood. I'm going to try to stand back and I'm going to try to do a walk around of the whole truck so we can get all the lines, okay? I don't need you to try it with me because we'll never get that done. But I want people to be able to see this truck. It's beautiful. Sure. I want to be able to see it. Yes, Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Y'all can don't see it, but I got PJ. PJ uh, Burnett said her uh, Burchett standing next to me. And uh, if you know PJ, you follow my channel, he's likely to do anything. If you want to buy it, brands available. Excuse me, You got to go through my customer service department. They got to call it. I want to try to get you all a clean shot of this truck. He's You know I'm working hard for you because I know you like this angle. And I don't blame you. It doesn't really do doesn't do me much good either to see just the back half and then the front half. I want to see it all together, you know? I want to show you why this truck caught my attention. Because just because you send me an email and say, hey, I got a cool car, I want you to see, doesn't mean it'll qualify. So, anyways, there you go. 57 Cameo. Huh? Hey, Danny, how you doing? By, uh... Oh, I'll get Chris's information on here. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just trying to dodge a thousand people here and get you the video. So, anyways, from SEMA 2013. Chris? Yes, sir. Beautiful job, brother. Thank you very much. Thanks for getting in touch with me and showing me this truck. Yeah, and I really appreciate you coming out and taking a look at it and then enjoying the truck as well. No problem, man. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> folks, there you go. 57 Cameo, SEMA 2013. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. I just wanted to throw a clip of this sandwich board in so we can give credit to everybody on this thing. <laughs>